Now I want to demonstrate some elements of functionality which really make Business Central stand out today. Organizations today spend approximately 40% of their time per week switching applications. Now with Business Central, you can actually create quotes, process orders, and submit invoices without the need to leave the application, utilizing its infusion with Microsoft Outlook. And I'll show you how. Now I received an email from a gentleman named Joe requesting a sales quote for two London swivel chairs and three Antwerp tables as quick as possible. Now I haven't worked with Joe in the past and I'm not sure whether my colleagues have either, but what I can do pretty seamlessly is click on the Business Central icon and identify whether we've transacted with Joe in the past. By clicking on Contact Insights, it informs you of whether we have worked with Joe before and if so, then what organization. And as you can see, the Adasim Corporation customer page has appeared with some financial history on whether we've transacted with this organization. As you can see, there's an open balance of 3,600. And more importantly, you want to be able to manage the financial well-being of that organization as well. And what this shows me is that currently payments are not overdue. I'm also able to go to some tiles and be able to view any historic transactions, as well as any other financial information which will help me in understanding the history of this particular organization. Now, based on what I can see, I'm pretty happy to go ahead and create the sales quote. So I can click on new, sales quote. And what some of the cognitive intelligence capabilities within Business Central does, it identifies the items specified within the email to the products within our product catalog and maps the two together. As you can see, it says we think we found one or more items that match the text in the email. And it maps the items within Business Central to the product specified within the email, along with the quantity as well. So I'm happy with that information. I'm happy to go ahead. And as quickly and as seamlessly as that, we now have a sales quote created with the customer name flow through as well as the appropriate contact and the due date. More importantly, within the line items, we have the two items specified and required for the sales quote, along with financial information, such as what the cost for these two items are. I can then go ahead and review any, in, any other financial information that I wanted to, such as any specific currencies that I wanna transact in, um, any other sort of payment services that I require, as well as billing or shipping details, depending on the type of transaction it is. So again, I'm happy to go ahead and proceed and send that sales code back to the customer. Now that I'm able to email the sales code back to the customer, I can also analyze it for myself. I can utilize some of the out of the box PDF capabilities that Business Central has, where I can review that the information I've specified is correct, such as the organization, the contact that requested this sales quote, as well as the document date and the salesperson. More importantly, I can analyze the two items that were specified within the sales quote, the quantity, and more importantly, the prices incorporating the VAT as this is a UK tenant that I'm demoing right now. So once I'm happy with all this information, I can go ahead and send this sales quote back to the customer. Now, upon sending that sales quote back to the customer, we received feedback shortly afterwards, stating, thank you for sending the quote across, but after liaising with my colleagues, we're hoping for a 10% discount. Now I'm happy to go ahead and proceed and create that transaction for Joe. And by doing so, I can click on Contact Insights. I can again review the open transactions I have with a Datum Corporation and click on some of the ongoing sales quotes I have as well. Now the most recent sales quote I created was 1006. Now again, with very little data input needed, I can pretty easily and effectively click on new and then click on make invoice. What that does, it extracts all the information from the sales quote and creates a sales invoice based on the information already pre-populated. And again, within seconds, we now have a sales invoice that's been created. Information has flowed through, such as the customer name, the contact, as well as the item information and its price. More importantly in this instance though, as Joe's requested a discount, I can provide a 10% invoice and discount for this customer. In a similar fashion to a sales code, I can then edit any invoicing details, any billing or shipping information, 
as well as any particular payment method as well. So I'm happy with the invoice. I've incorporated 10% discount. So now I want to do two things. Not only do I want to send this um, invoice back to the customer via email, but I also want to post it back into my general ledger so I'm compliant from a financial perspective. So I can go and post and send. So in a similar fashion to the sales call, I've emailed the sales invoice back to the customer with a predefined PDF template, which again, I can preview. I'm able to analyze my invoicing information, such as the customer name, the address. More importantly, now that it's an invoice, I can view my payment terms, as well as the two items being sold with the final value. And again, as per the customer's request, I've incorporated a discount of 150 pounds based on 10% discounting that I've provided at the end of the invoice. So now that we've emailed the sales invoice back to the customer and we've posted the invoice into our general ledger, there's one final step, ensuring that our financial information has been updated efficiently. I can do that by checking on Business Central icon, clicking on Contact Insights, and then in a similar fashion to previously, being able to review a Datum Corporation's financial history. As you can see, the balance has been updated. And if I click on the balance, I'm able to review all of the invoices that have been accumulated into the total amount of payment owed, and therefore giving me a detailed view of the historic transactions we've had with the Datum Corporation.